Hey hey guys! Today I will show you how to use Visual Studio Code together with Unity instead of Visual Studio. I prefer Visual Studio Code for a few reasons. One of them is because it's more lightweight. If you have a uh, slower computer, this might be something for you. Also, uh, there are a few features missing from Visual Studio unless you have ReSharper. One of them is Duplicate, Console D which I use all the time and I'm annoyed that it's not available in Visual Studio without ReSharper. And let's be honest, ReSharper is really expensive and it makes Visual Studio e run even slower. So to start, we first need to open up Unity with any uh, project. You have Open Unity. You go to Edit and Preferences and then in External Tools, there's a drop down. Here you will probably have it on Visual Studio per default. You can change it to Visual Studio Code. But I'm guessing it's not visible on your. Because first time you need to go to Browse. And then go to where you have installed uh, Visual Studio Code. And then double click on the code.exe. And then when you have done that, you just press the uh, exit. And then you can go create a script. Any script and double click on it. Then you will see that it opens up Visual Studio Code instead. So, to make Visual Studio run even better, Visual Studio Code, I mean, uh, I installed a few plugins that I recommend. These are found in on this uh, button, further down. Here you can install a few plugins. So, these are the three plugins that I recommend. C sharp, debugger for Unity, and a theme to make the colors different. To find this, you can just search for C sharp. You will find this one and this one. And then if you search for Unity, you will find the deb debugger. So install them, and then you can reload Visual Studio Code. Furthermore, I like to do something more. If you go to the settings on Visual Studio Code, you can uh, write this in the user settings. This makes it so that every time you save, the file will format itself to look good. Lastly, to make it even better, I like my semicolons to be like this, but the default is like this. So to make it format, this when you save, oh, you need to go to your user folder. It's in C, users, and then your name. And if you have installed the plugin that is called C Sharp by OmniSharp, you will find a folder here called dot OmniSharp. Make sure you have enabled so that you can view hidden folders because this is a hidden folder. If you go inside, you need to add this file to this folder. This makes it so that the brackets become this way as standard. I will uh, add this file to the video so you can download it. All right, let's see what happens now. If we remove these and then write something of our own, private void update. Now we can take start instead. And then we do it like this because this is not the way we want it. And then we write var h2. And then if to like this. And then if we press Ctrl S to save, we will see that everything will format itself to look better. There became this became this, the semicolon was moved here, there was spaces added, and there were spaces added here as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you find it useful, and I see you later.